morning guys all right so <coughs> the other day we did build a mango strap and the mango strap we made it build we did have um you know people coming at the comment and ask say yo they would have want to see the trap below over so i'm gonna see if we can do another trap building basically yeah so we're gonna build back over the same trap explain it to you know, in a more details exactly why you know that you get and why you know that need and how you know can build the same trap but in a one different way because people build it different way mostly you would have used like a tree sapling or them way there but me use balloon to do it me use them here you see me so now explain something to you know in a every forest or any bush you know going or what you know can use just some simple tree limb like them here like if you have a tree like this, you can use a branch like this for your lever, you see me? You tie something on the end, like a card from here to here, and you know, can and you know have an anchor upon it. When when the trigger stick or whatsoever you use for your trigger fly, it will go fly up the limb and draw up whatsoever you have. So this is how I talk. If you put it down. You have an anchor, whatever you have in the ground for your anchor, your trigger stick or what have you. When it leg off, limb will go fly. And it will go drop anything you, you, you have where, where trigger it. Anything where you catch your foot or neck or what have you, depends on how you set your trap. It will go fly up and catch their neck or what have you. Alright, I'm going to show you now what I mean by that. Now, as you know, can see, this is the old trap we did set the other day. This is the old chopper I did set the other day. Now I'm going to clean the tarp back on him really because I'm going to just use it back and um, explain it to you. Now, the reason why I may have them row a stick here and them row a stick here so, are because mangoes is a thing like this. Because you have to know, your, you have to know the, the animal where you catch to. Mangoose is a thing like this, then we come from side different angles because they're frisky and they're slender. Now me, me make it that them have to walk either this direction come in or this direction come in. And them, them look on it so them can go either direction out so them not get pen. But really and truly, I did I trap me I direct them to. Now we have some row of stick line out. All you have to do, cut some row of stick. Put it down in the ground. Simple. On both sides. Now, you don't have to use balloon. If you don't have no balloon, what I would tell you to do is do this. You know, get a tree sapling wheresoever you know there. Or, you know, get a branch like this. Put it in the ground like this. Show you how I go on. Put it in the ground like this. And then, then you know do something like this. You know, bend it over and you know, tie no card or what you know want type on it. And when it trigger fly, when it trigger it trigger fly, it will go just come up like this and draw them foot. Simple as that. But I go show you know, my way. So I go build it over. Alright, so now join the balloon them. Tie the balloon them and join them, you know. Let's see if I can join them right away. So you trap them easy for build peeps. Trust me. And you have to be inventive, you know. Because you see somebody else do something, same way you can make a little twist to it, you know, if you know, only way, same way. That's just it, you know. Alright. You have to tie it one way, you know, say. When it holds nothing, you know, go and fly off. Now, I think this is a mongoose you have to pass through for a morning, because. Mangoes them rise early. But they have all day still. You know? Alright. This is something. Think me. I think this alone can work still. Yeah. I think I'm going to use this alone. I'm going to use three of them. So what you are going on now my peeps I'm going to tie this So instead of using a tree For bend down A tree sapling 
for for Ben, I use for the the lever. May I use the balloon instead? All right, time nice and firm on the tree. All right, so tie it up there, so stretch it, come down. All right. Now let me show you now the other part now. So say you have wait there. A piece of tree in there. All right. Now this white work piece. Show you something. This are the lever. You know say you don't need something to anchor it. Just like when we pull on this, we need something to anchor it. To make it to hold down there. You understand? You need something to make it hold down there. What I have to do is you get one little something like this. You can get two um, a piece of stick will look like catapult. Catapult stick or slingshot stick. And all you have to do is just push it down into the earth. You have to push it down into the earth. So when this comes down, you put a little pin underneath it and anchor it. So I'm going to show you up on this, on the bigger trap, alright? Now, let me see if I have an anchor. Let me have a pin and an anchor already. Show you where I go on. Me unroll this. Hold on. All right. Now, and I have no more hair thread, unfortunately, but I'm going to make a pin. I'm going to use a pin. So this is the pin. Look on it closely. You just get a piece of stick and tie a piece of thread on it. So after you tie a piece of thread on it, what I'm going to do? I'm going to tie it to the end of this. So I'm going to make you see what I'm going on. Yeah, this is the old trap. I take off the, the pin from a fight. You know? So this is all you know to do. Hold on. Let me get it tied up, you know? Get him all tied up. So watch you know my peeps. You have your anchor. Me mean you have your, your lever or anything with a sapling or balloon you don't use. As I said before, if you draw the animal up in the ear. So you have that. You get your card. And you tie it on the tree or the balloon like this. And you have your pin. You will make a little, a little pin on it. See? Now when we draw it down like this, see where the pin come in handy now. The pin I go hook underneath the, uh, the, the anchor where you put down there. So see it there? Pin I go put underneath it. So you see, it can fly out and fly up. You understand? So I put it down there. Hook it underneath it. See hook underneath? Now I need one trigger where you hold the pin here. So all I go do. I cut piece more stick. So we need a piece of stick. Uh, I'm gonna use piece piece of this. I'm sure you know what I'm doing now. Alright, that piece of stick I feel flimsy still in the piece. The piece of stick I feel flimsy so. Alright. I don't want nothing too big. It's a stick of the leader. It just. Now, if you use it, I feel that. 
Watch out now, my peeps. Watch out now. Now, what I no need to do, I no need to make sure say, the pin and the stick, you don't no need to measure the stick. So, I'm going to measure it like this. And then cut it off somewhere here. So, so I'm going to cut it. Alright, I hit that. So, you need to come from the inside of the stick with this if you fly the pin. So I'm going to show you now what I mean. Dry it down back. See the pin here? Push the pin underneath. And then put it like this. I hit that. So if you notice, this is the trigger, this is the pin, and this is the lever. This is how I go draw up the, the foot of the animal or the bird or what have you did it. Now if me touch it like this, let me show you something. Let me show you now something. Let me show you now I go on. See slip knot here. The slip knot attached to the lever same way. So watch this. The slip knot the rope or the cord or the thread or whatever you have your slip knot it. So once the animal come and go so, bam, fly. Only thing, we don't hold on for that a while ago. So let me show you now on the front. Yeah. Hold on, I'm sure you know where I go on peeps. See it there. Yeah. Hold on my peeps. I'm sure you know where I go on. Alright. I'll put it from ground because see how the mangoes this. Mangoes walking, him head I got about this. So once him touch this, him head touch this, look what will happen. See that? Catch my finger. You see me? Wicked like that. I'll do it again. One more time. Demonstration. One more time. Really simple. Put it down. Use the trigger stick. Put it here so. Now, if you fly the trigger stick, you know so you have to bait the trigger stick, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. You put down the, the card of ground. That is why the other day I did put a card on that side and a, and a card on this side. Because I want if him enter from this angle, him foot will get catch. And if he enter from this angle, him foot will get catch. So when him come in and him walk in, and he beat the pan here so, and he come in and he walk in and he put the body this so, so this is head and this is front foot the knife and his head and my finger and his front foot when he walk in and come in and touch whatsoever he might touch on the bait stick like this fly and catch him front foot and draw him up in the ear like this but you know mangoes are not heavy so he might go to run up and down when his foot get catch all about him now they run up and down all right, let me set up the trap still. Now we not don't know we don't need bait. Fino, fino, fino bait stick. Let me show you how I go on again. I don't know me I'm a bait already. Like a birdie. Yeah man. Kinda pick him off a little bit. Keep me kinda sure. No we go. I'm going to skew him. You see me? Yeah, man, I'm going to skew him. I'm going to sharpen one end of the, of the trigger stick. Sharpen the end of it. The skew of the bird, you know? So you can not use fat, you know, can use pork, beef, anything you know, no mangoes eat. Or if a bird. You know, now I go put it on top. I go set a bird shop. I go do some bird shop. Make you not see them. Look on that. I skew a bird. You see me? So this is why I go come, come grab and fly. Fly everything. Now, me, I go do this. When I have no more, when I have no more, um, 
I have no more hair, hair thread. So what I do? I go use some thread, some normal thread and double it. I go double this about four times to get some card, you know. Yes, guys. So I tie on three pieces of separate string with a slip knot on the end. It's a one. It's a two. And it's a tree. I don't have no more hair, hair thread, so I use regular thread. You see me? Just for the sake of the video. Alright, so what I'm going to do? Put it down. I know how it go. I'm hitching a pin underneath on an anchor that I catapult stick. You know, got another you know, piece of stick where the trigger stick with the bait panny. You have another stick in the dirt. Where you know, put it from one end to the next. So, this I trigger stick, push in the pin, catch it from the other side. So, you know, see what I go on, you know, see it. All right, that I go on. Now, all me I got to do set one slip knot on one at the end. So, if you come from the angle, you can get catch. And put the slip knot on the end. Here, yeah, man. So see it there. Slip knot that. See it there. Like that. See me. Put a slip knot on the end here. So if you come in on the end here, you can get catch. Hold on. One of them shorter than one. I think that one there. So what I do now people, I take extra precaution, you see me? So I put one over the bait, bait same way. So this can catch in your head. And one slip knot from the end here, you understand? So when you come from the end here, hit this, catch the foot here. If you come from the end here, try to get the bait, you fly the pin. Dry up, drop the the balloon up in the air, catching foot. Come from the NI catching foot. Hold on, pan this. This we catch in head or remote. So you have three chance. You have three chance of catching him. You see me? We just one trap. All right. So I eat that in a peep. So we just have to wait again, and that's it. All right. Yeah, man. All right, my peeps. So see it there. That I chop with my set. So you see what I go on. Yeah, man, it's another one, you know. Yeah. So to the still, it's a different day, you know. Yeah, man. So yesterday when I set the chop, not never did really catch. But as you can see today, see them. Come here, son, him fly the pin. Yeah, man. Him fly the pin. And I don't know which one I call them catching your foot still. But you see where you're going. Yeah, man. See, I can't get him out from here, so. Alright. I want to tread, you know, people. I tread with me. When I me, me double, you know, I catch him, you know. Tread. Yeah, man. You see where I go. I want to lose him out for a so still, but. I don't tell no lie, man. It's dangerous still, you know, peeps. Then we bite you. I'm dangerous. Say hi to the camera. Don't know.
that's a peeps, look eh. You want to open up him out? Yeah, man. Pray that, you know. Bite you up, trust me. Yeah, man. That's an so. epic catch again. Yeah. yeah. So that's how we do it, my peeps. So, right now, you don't know where you go. I got to put him out of misery and thing. But remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope the, this video yeah, explain how the trap work and you can see and can set it for yourself. You understand? And I go see if I build another one, a bird trap. Because I did build a bird trap the other day, but you know, never see how he really build. You see me? Now, the bird trap can catch him and goes too. That I want me I go build. But I improvise and use the balloon instead. You see me? So, you know, we see where I go on. You know? So, until next time, peace out. You know where I go. Yeah, man.